YouTube was good. I'm back in the building for another reaction. We're going to be reacting to a real life productions um, video. Um, it's part of an interview uh, that they did with this uh, gentleman by the name of Body by O. Uh, he's giving his perspective on the Alabama brawl. It says that he says witchcraft was involved with the Alabama brawl. So I'm just going to skip to the part where he's actually talking like about it. All right. Let's see Look, here. if I saw that situation, I'm like, all right. viral topics the montgomery alabama yeah. brawl yeah what is your take on that um i'm gonna be fair uh about two hours prior there was some i think reiki priest and they were doing a ceremony towards the ancestors two hours prior because they used to sell slaves there two hours prior they did a whole ceremony referencing the ancestors and then that happened look man Mm, okay, I think I know what he's getting at. I think I know what he's getting at. The the ritual ceremonious stuff happens, and then this happens. Possession, you know, body being possessed by spirit, spirit of the ancestors taking their spirits and doing what what happened. I see where he's going with it. I see where he's going. That's an interesting perspective, considering the fact that like. We're just looking at it from the aspect of like, hey, a bunch of black people stood up for this, this, this one man who was getting like paws put on him by like hella napkin people. Man, y'all can call me what you want to call me, conspiracy theorist, but I think somebody needs to sit down with the people who was in that brawl, the black folks who was in that brawl, and really have a conversation. Because they was probably you, having an out of body experience. Yeah, they like they was having an out of body experience. Crazy. It was mayhem. Think about it. It looked like recompense. That's why I said it on my when I made a video. It looked like recompense. Yeah. Think about it. You even had the black cops standing around like, "Yo, you feel me?" He's and, just letting and it happen this again. Uh, Police chief Montgomery, you just arrested the man with the chair. All right. They was all good until they got to the man with the chair. You got to get voted back in, sir. It's crazy. Uh, city manager, be very careful how you handle the situation. You got to get voted in. Is now is he saying? Is he saying? Is he saying be light on the? Is he saying be light on the people who were involved in this? Like the people who? I'm I'm meaning like the black people involved who were like going ham eggs and cheese on the white people like is he saying that like they should be light on that on that aspect um is that what he's meaning i'm wondering position i need you to be careful how you handle this situation and that's all i have to say about that well i got one question hit me go ahead all right if you were there and you seen four three four white men jumping the black guy where am I standing? Am I on the pier or on the boat? You're on the boat. You're on the boat. I was a lifeguard. I could swim. Yeah. yeah. I would have got that. I, I, I would have. Okay. So he, I don't believe I'm going to say this shit. Um, all right. Look. If I saw that situation, I'm going to look at my bank account. And I'm going to check my insurance policy. I'm like, all right. Yeah. But who's even thinking, thinking about that in a, in, a, in a situation like that? I probably would. I, who's I would, even I would, thinking I would, about that? I, I, I would take a little battery charge. I would. Because of the because you know what I'm saying like okay if I were there knowing what I know now yeah I, I, simple battery man whatever. <laughs> now the funniest one was the dude that jumped in the in the in the uh, he jumped about. in there and swam been, there. That, that, that would have been me. The fact the only thing I would have done different I wouldn't have rang my clothes out when when I got on the thing I would have just yeah. went, <laughs> he just went straight in. Yeah, yeah 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 salute mm. to that brother man. So, I mean whatever his, put his cash up out there so we can. <laughs> Get him taken care of. Man. It's the fact that, that like it was discovered that he was like he a don't know that he don't know that man old. from sixteen years old. Don't ruin his life. Let's do the same from a can of oil Montgomery. when he went to go help him. I want you to do the same thing that young African American sixteen year old that you would do with a young. 
Caucasian American 16 year old. Let's not ruin his life. He has a great future ahead of him. Let's give him some probation and take it off of his record when he turns 18. So he I mean, based on how Alabama's laws are, I mean, who's to say they would they would treat that uh, they would treat him different like they would treat him the same way they would treat a, a 16 year old white kid because they probably would just give a 16 year old white kid a slap on the wrist damn near walk away from this thing with probation so I mean if that was the case which I don't know I don't know man he can get into a good college. That's the end of the reaction. Pretty good, uh, pretty good take on the Alabama brawl, saying that witchcraft was involved. You know, ritualistic thing. Um, that's the end of it. Go and uh, subscribe to Real Life Productions, uh, and I'll be back with more reactions.